Alrighty, guys and gals, welcome back to City Skylines 2. Season 2. Season 2. Big E, what happened to Season 1? Season 1 can suck my balls. Season 1 was a nightmare, a disaster. I hate Season 1. I hate Season 1 so much. I'm going to get a t-shirt made. It's actually already ordered. I hate season one is what the t-shirt says. <clears throat> okay. I've let season one go. <laughs> season one is no more. I did record two episodes that I'm not releasing. I've deleted them. <laughs> because both of the episodes was me just extremely frustrated and salty and complainy. All I did for a couple of hours, more than a couple of hours off camera, but for a couple of hours in the recordings, I was just trying to fix roads, lane management, and pedestrian traffic <laughs> was ridiculous. <laughs> so either I am the worst City Skylines builder ever to play the game, or the game has some problems. I don't know. All I know is I watch other City Skylines builders and they do not seem to have quite the trouble that I do. So that is a big indicator right there. Anyway, I got really, really frustrated and I, I got to a point in the game, I actually let it simulate, I'm not even kidding, for hours. We were up to $27 million in the game is how far. I think I went through an entire season at least, I mean, a, an entire year in game letting it simulate while I was trying to fix things. It just got to a point where nothing was moving. Traffic was so bad. The pedestrian traffic is nuts. You are basically forced to build these uh, pedestrian bridges and things. And so it really hit sort of hard. Um, what I'm gonna do, this is season two, I'm calling it, and all this season is going to be is me trying to create a city with flowable traffic. And I'm not gonna say I'm gonna build it around pedestrian paths, but I'm gonna build it around basically traffic flow and ease of pedestrian traffic, if that makes any sense. So pedestrian paths, uh, and rail, tram, commuter options, buses, things like that, hopefully will work. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to find out. Ooh, alrighty. <laughs> and I'm going to do my best to not complain about things in the game, but there are some things that are just default in the game that are so messed up. It's... It uh, drives me nuts. Anyway, here we go. So we're going to do a new game. And I was going to do a vanilla map, but I... So here's Dune Dane. This is a beautiful, gorgeous map. It really is. But I'm not going to work with this one. And I've just realized the same person who created this map, Rafterman, also created this map. I found this map. It looks incredible. This is also based on a real place. So it says Bayport is a small unincorporated community that resides just off Lake Huron's Sagnaw uh, Bay in eastern Michigan, which is in the United States. It's known for its summer fish sandwich festival. Yummy. It attracts mostly Midwestern tourists uh, yearning for a charming lakeside vibe. It's perfect for a city builder who desires a blend of natural geography, urban sprawl, rural agriculture, and access to a large body of water. Big, big shout out to Rafterman MZ here. I'm going to, I have to check out this guy's channel. Actually, I've not even done that. But this thing looks incredible, just like the other map. I love the way that it has all of this agriculture. It's all divided up. It looks like you've got some small state roads. It's a North American theme. Obviously, 61% buildable area has a great um, climate range. Uh, Michigan can get quite cold. It's in the northern United States. And we have access to everything. So this is what we're going with right now. And so what I'm going to do here is a little bit of a cutscene. scene. Um, I'm going to try to build in 
my layout first because I often will spend the entire episode just trying to get the initial things in. So I'm going to jump into the episode and I'm going to do a fast forward bit. I'm going to lay out my my little small town is essentially what I'm going to do. I was thinking about starting with all of this unlocked. And I'm still contemplating whether I should do that. Because like I said, this all I want to do is see if I can actually design a workable city. I've not been able to do it yet. Uh, and it's pretty frustrating. So if I do this, I don't have to worry about it. Actually, I'm not going to do it. We'll we'll just go the default stuff here. Bayport, Michigan. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I do apologize for the first season. A bit, uh, honestly, we started over three times, <laughs> I think. Ah, oh, let me get a little sip of something cool and refreshing. Look at this. Beautiful. I love that this is based. Oh, I wish I had access to this, but it's outside the build buildable area. I love that this is based on a real place. Man, this guy is just incredible. Look at this. Got these little waterways here. All of the detail. So one thing I have noticed about these custom maps is... Um, is these amazing designers obviously look at this this is a rock quarry look at that this must exist in this town i'm gonna have to look at some like actual photographs just incredible man uh but anyway like i was saying one thing i've noticed about these when you have a map this detailed and incredible like most of the custom maps you can get they do build with anarchy and you kind of are forced to do it if you want to get really really creative the problem with anarchy if you are building with it um, sometimes if you lay a new road because trees are buried and things like that and the heights are adjusted you will get the trees and things on top of the roads even if you don't have anarchy on but that you know what that's a small price to pay i think for being able to access a beautiful map like this. I love the idea of like a cleaner type of industry. Um, anyway, so this is our starting tile. I've just noticed how unusual this is. Check it out. That is interesting, the, the little shape here. This is the dotted line is what we have to start with. Okay, well, what we're going to do this is where I'm going to lay out my first little area. So is this a little highway here? It looks like it is. Whoops. Let's see if I use my selector. Yeah, it's a two lane highway. So call that a state highway. We have a train that cuts right across the train tracks. Super straight. Comes up this way too. This is nice. What about this? Is this that's also judging by the speed limit? That's also a little uh state highway. That's what I would call those roads. But the train tracks come up right through the quarry here. Which oh, look at this. He's got it all set. Look at the detail, man. Just incredible. Really, really cool. We can do a little cargo station here for the quarry, but we have to get all of this worked in. All the little farmhouses. So cool. Look at this. You got Moo Moo cows. Moo Moo cows. We can name all of these cows if we wanted to. <laughs> but we're not going to do that. I don't know. I might main, name these after my members. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is going to take me a while to do. Um, I'm going to do a cutscene, And I'm going to try to lay this in the best that I can. So sit back and hopefully enjoy. Here we go.
Okay. Um, I think I'm liking this. So <clears throat> I had to just get rid of all the trees in here, which I, I need to be doing anyway, because one thing I've learned about this game, if you leave trees in and just lay a road on top of them, the trees will go away, depending on whether it was built with an anarchy or not. But those assets are actually still in the game. Just like the first game, they are still considered there and they have to load up. And this has a lot of trees. So I would highly recommend if you're doing this, if you're building, get rid of the trees, build over top of them, and then put trees back in where you need them. Uh, because the game is not well optimized as it is. Now, this road's a little bit wavy and janky, but that's not... I think I can live with it. I didn't really check the elevation here which is something I usually do. But I actually don't mind this, the little elevation there. I don't think I mind it. And what I'm actually going to do is leave the default lights that get put in, and we'll see how traffic works. I, in the first disaster of a season, I was turning all of this off. Now, one thing that drives me crazy about this game, by default, so I have an, a traffic, a lane management mod, if you look at the default connections that a road has, this is insane to me, but this is the default coding that they decided would be a good idea. Anything goes, essentially, is what this is. So it's really unfortunate that I have to have a mod to come into the game and say, no, I don't want U-turns and I don't want unsafe connections. I want a normal road. This is what the default should be, but it's not what happens in this game. And it's it causes problems because if at any time in the future, you've got cars waiting here, whether the lights are here or not, and they can't get through, what you'll, what'll happen is the cars behind it will automatically recalculate to try to get around it. So if this car is waiting, this car will do a three-point turn. It'll do a U-turn here. Or this car may do a U-turn, which creates all kinds of other problems in the game. But every single one of these intersections has that nonsense, unfortunately. And I just don't really want to waste the time to go through every single one of these and change them. So what I'll try to do is at these major intersections, I guess is what I'll call it, I'll go in and say no. Please behave in a civilized manner. <laughs> right? <laughs> Again, I don't feel like that's something I should have to do, but it unfortunately, it's just a thing. Anyway, I kind of like the layout here. Oh, this didn't actually line up. Oh, this was the default. So this is how this road is in real life, which is a little bit strange uh, to me. I could actually change that. This is not a safe intersection. <laughs> and, but again, that was the default that's put in. I tell you what we're going to do. We're actually going to change this up. I like this little roundabout down here, but I don't like this connection here. It's uh, a little bit, well, unsafe. <laughs> it's what it is. So we'll take this road and we'll just run this straight back the way that it was. Uh, I've got to use Anarchy here to get across, but just make it a 90. We'll just do that. Yeah, that makes a little bit more sense to me. Oh, boy. Okay, so I see. <laughs> oh, no. All right, my power poles, I'm actually okay with there on the side of the road, but we do have to reroute these just from this point here. Got to reroute... Do I have one in the middle of the road? Yes, we do. You have to go, sir. We can reroute this. And you're a little bit too close. Let's go into our power here. And I'll just reconnect this. We'll come over. And then connect there. A place like this, a rural place like this, you wouldn't have power lines under the road. Um, newer neighborhoods will have everything under the road. I don't know if you've noticed that, but it makes such a huge difference in a neighborhood if you don't have all of this. Whoops, what did I do here? 
that's not right. <laughs> but everything will be routed underneath the roads, and it makes a, a nice, it's a lovely um wait a minute. Is that right? Yeah, that's what I want. It just makes the neighborhood look so much cleaner when you don't have utility poles and everything above ground. They are usually under the streets or sidewalks or whatever. It's interesting. He's got he's got the raised poles here. Um. Anyway, since I redid all of these connections, uh, all of this has changed back. Oh, maybe it didn't. Oh, this one did. Remove U-turns and unsafe. I'm just going to leave the lights again. Um, we'll see what happens. See how traffic works. That one's good. But so, so this is what I was talking about. Because of the everything was built with anarchy, um, unfortunately, you get this. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But you just have to go back and you know, bushes on the road. All righty. I like the way this looks. I don't know if this is going to work. <clears throat> These are just small, you know, rural highways, state highways is what we would call them. Oh, boy. <laughs> I really messed that up, didn't I? We've got to redo that. Uh, not that big of a deal. No, I'm actually, no, that's a little bit off. Let's redo these connections the way to solve that is just bring this one out past bring this one in at a 180 degrees or 180 degrees which is there and we'll just delete that okay do, 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 do. okay so the way we'll think about this is um well this is essentially an arterial it's a highway that just comes to an end it's a little bit strange so i wonder if i should get rid of this road i think i do just get rid of that yeah that's a highway just comes to uh, <laughs> a screeching stop but you see this you have these little state highways that turn into just you know 35 mile an hour road at a 90 like that this will do something down here so this is as weird as it looks this is an arterial arterial road that comes off the highway same with this arterials connect two different towns cities whatever right they move large volumes of traffic between two different zones or districts even and then off of those you'll have these collectors which in my case uh, are a combination of two lane roads and four lane roads thinking about upgrading these but it, it, this is like a small town type of vibe so i don't want too many large roads at least well, i mean i say that now we'll see what happens this road i don't know why i elected to do four lanes there i think because it splits but there's we can't get actually we can get out here but i don't know if we'd want to be out here maybe we do i don't know we might be able to do something out here something interesting I'll just leave it for right now. But I think this will work. So my plan, I won't be zoning any houses on this collector, this bigger road. These outside roads, even though I would consider these collectors, because it's like a small town vibe, I probably will put residential here. But this larger road and this center area I want for school, hospital, you know, clinic, that sort of thing, police station. And then my commercial, I will put along this collector road here, and hopefully it works. Now, how are we doing on time over here? Well, I did a fast forward bit, so I'm half an hour in, but I don't think it's been that much time because of the fast forward bit. I love this map so much. It's so interesting. So well designed, man. This guy spent so much time doing this. Just beautiful. Okay, so I need to think about where i want before i think about residential and all that kind of stuff where i want my power and my water uh and we're not playing with unlimited money and all that so i've really got to think about 
how I want to make this work. So one thing I didn't even look at. Okay, wind pollution goes up that way. So if this is the north end of the map, it's flowing up to the northwest there. So any industry would probably work best up here. Uh, but we do have to start with something. I, obviously, our this we have a ton of fertile land we can access. And as soon as I can, I'll probably purchase this some of these tiles up here. It doesn't take us long to do that. I think as soon as you actually put in your first major resource, uh, not resource, but like your first power plant or something, I think you will get that first unlock, which would be nice. And we'll just buy one of these. Uh, so we know the wind flows up this way. So this is kind of speaking to me over here. So we got to get rid of some trees back here. Uh, let's use Anarchy so I can go up beyond there. So again, what I'm doing here is I'm using my tree brush. And then you just unclick this. Make it so it's not blue. And then if you right-click and hold, you can just remove large swatches. Swatches? <laughs> patches. Large patches. Um, so what do I want to do? I don't think I want to do a coal power plant. They're just, I don't think it's super feasible. How's our wind speed here? Um, where do I see that? Yeah. So here, down here, wind speed and direction. Like if I unchecked all of this stuff, you would see. So the browner it is, the higher the wind speed and I think that's based on the actual arrow, color of the arrow. This is all pretty flat here. So let's see what it, what we get. Nothing, not really anything. What about out here? Yeah, it's even lower out here. You really need an elevated place to make this work. So even with, like, I've got Anarchy on, and I'm just trying to find a place that I might be able to get five, but almost nothing. So these aren't going to be very feasible for us. Which means, so my only options are to import power. Can I even do that? I don't think I can. I don't see a, a large power line. Wait, what is this? Oh, we do have a... Okay, we do have a node that comes across. So I could use this. What I would do is connect a transformer station to this. And we would import power. It's just not the best. I've never even actually used a coal power plant yet in this second game. We can get up to 20 megawatts of power, which is great. Way more than we would need right off the bat. The upkeep is anywhere from $5,000 to $45,000 a month. So I'm not sure why the massive difference. I guess it depends on how much coal you're going to be importing. This is only $3,000 a month for the transformer station. Hmm, what do I do here? So the thing about the coal power plant is it, it, this will generate additional traffic as well because we'll have to import coal to get here um, for the resource, right? Maybe we'll be uh, we'll just be broke here. <laughs> I think my bet or my the best thing for me to do, I'm gonna try this strat. Um, import the power. I don't want to be reliant on this. This thing is also so disgusting and dirty. It's going to ruin this area. And I really kind of don't want to do that if I don't have to. So I think what I'm going to do is put this... Let's do a little roundabout here. Uh, we'll do a small roundabout. And I'll put the little transformer station right here. And we will connect... You have to connect your large power. Uh, but I do want this underground. I just want to connect into that uh, if I can. 
Uh oh. It's right on the line, so it doesn't want me to do it. So I have to use anarchy, I guess. Is it the large one? I'll use this one. No, I can't do that. What I have to do... I've got to use the large pole. I think I have to do this. I can't connect to that. No, that doesn't work. How do I do this? I literally do this every time. I can't figure out how to do this. Is that power or water? Oh, that's water. <laughs> that's a water line. That's not a power line. So that's why <laughs> I can't connect to that. The power lines are just black. So it's actually over here interesting and we don't need this here this is very strange the way that curves in like that oh i don't need this back here either um yeah i don't need this What's going on here? I think it's just for aesthetics, this uh, power pole here. I think I need to get rid of that. I didn't really look at this too closely. What I want to do is bring this right down this way. So we'll come off there. Do I need this power? What I need to do is switch it. I like it under the roads. I mean, I was just saying, like, you've got this vibe going on here, but these streets have the light poles, which means it'll transfer power. That they will transfer power. So I'm going to get rid of this for now so I don't have this blinking at me, the, uh, the utility pole here. Yeah, I'm good with that. And then what we do is we'll grab this large one and we'll connect here. Does that work? Why doesn't it like that? Uh, grab this. There we go. Okay, power's connected. Except for this. What is this? I didn't connect it. I'm not even exaggerating. I do this like every time. I, I don't know why I have such a hard time doing this. But literally every time I try to snap to one of these, there it goes. I usually miss it. Okay, so we're going to be importing power. And as soon as I unlock that first milestone, I can get into my city or my... Uh, city economy and I can adjust this because we're not going to need 20 megawatts of power. So I'm going to crank that down almost immediately. Now I got to think about water. So what's interesting here is we're not going to have a lot of flow. I don't think. So what I might actually do is a groundwater pumping station. Let's see. This is 5,000 a month upkeep. This is double. Wow, this is, this is just way better in every regard. The problem is I can't actually see the direction flow of the water anymore. And I think it's because of an a, a mod that I had an add on, but this does need a road. Well, what I can do, since my outlets don't need um, a road connection, I can do my groundwater pumping station here. 
right at the end of this road. And I'll put my outlet like out here. But one thing I want to do is get rid of these low trees in here. Just a little bit. Bring this road down. I think I want to change this road up to a smaller, smaller road. I kind of wish I left that little two lane. This, we're just going to make a little alley, essentially. Not essentially, it's just what we're going to do. We'll bring that right down to there. And we'll give the illusion of like a little treatment facility here. Let's take this back a little bit. And you know, just put it right off this right off. So there's the milestone we just hit. Does that look okay? It's not too bad. We could dress this up a little bit, but this isn't the time for detailing right now. So let me make sure that is connected. It is. It just connects into the roads. Yeah, everything is connected there. The power is connected. And so let me put my outlet over here, which for right now, we're just going to use this disgusting thing. And like I said, these don't require any road connection. I hate how these look. Well, I hate the effect that it gives. It just essentially, they just dump. It, it Well, it creates this pool. It doesn't disperse. It just creates this horrible, disgusting pool, <laughs> which I can't stand. Okay, um, so we hit our milestone there. So right away, what I'm going to do is go into my services. And for electricity, I'm going to crank this down. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this up until I get citizen happiness. Now, this does affect long-term things in the game. But for right now, I need to get ahead of this curve, which is this. And it's going to be tough to do. So I need to crank all of my services down and I need to increase, like I don't even, we're not going to need that. As much as I can get away with, the citizens are willing to pay 100, a service fee there. And that's fine for now. I'm going to unpause here and let these demands creep up so we can start uh, putting in some stuff. Actually, let me keep it paused. So let's see, I'm going to go some low density housing. Um, this is going to be commercial. So we'll start zoning in here. I kind of don't want to zone against these roads. Do I have my zoning tool here? I don't. Is it this? Okay, get rid of that, please. Where's my zoning? I don't actually have the add-on anymore. That's unfortunate. I was able to change the way that I did zoning, but I don't have it. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> but what I'm going to do, I'm going to do like four deep stuff. I like the three deep. I did not plan very well in here. No, I did not. So these are facing this road, but there's a way that I could turn this off zoning on this road i mean it's not this is a kind of a smallish road anyway it doesn't matter too much but i'm going to try as best i can to avoid that and i know we've got some wasted space in here but honestly i don't care too much about it but along these small roads we'll just do either three or four in there yeah this is kind of unfortunate the way that broke up so some of this has to do with the, the terrain, and but some of it has to do with this other road right here, unfortunately. Looks like we're going to have a little demand immediately for the medium density stuff, too. I'm going to put some of that back here. We're not going to have a huge demand. And then commercial. Again, I want like commercial blocks along this main road here in this little area. 
these intersections, which is where I think you would typically see them. We're not going to have a huge amount. This game is a little, it's different like that than the first game. The first game, you almost had like a consistent need for commercial, but this goes away very, very quickly uh, in this game. And so we'll just do a couple of pockets down here like that. Let's do some four by four places or four by four spaces, I should say. I don't want to overdo this uh, if I can help it. We have a little bit of commercial. So, um, oh, I unlocked the tile, right? We can actually, no, I can't. I don't have one unlocked yet. No, I do. I have three tiles. Okay, so and I have one development point. Not sure what I want to spend that on yet. Oh, this is interesting. So he's got like custom tile sizes. That is so cool to me. So what we're going to do then, we're going to pre-purchase some of this stuff. Well, not pre-purchase. Doesn't make any sense. We, we can purchase a large one so we can get up here and have access to some farms. I'm going to purchase that. I can't go crazy here because I just don't have the money to do it, right? But we can put some specialized industry in here. I love that. And I haven't even checked the... Everything is fertile. Basically the whole place. Except for this. Look at this. It's beautiful. Ore and stone here. Wow. <laughs> and this, I believe, is oil. Yeah, so there's oil and ore that shows up. Lovely. One thing I don't think I've done is like vegetable garden or vegetables. I don't think I've put those in. Not sure I have. We're going to do this, though. And I want to take advantage of as much of this area as I have, this tile unlock. So what I'm going to do is run a dirt road or gravel road, I should say. Oh, it's just on the other side. I don't have access to this road. I mean, I could get there with anarchy, but I'm just going to pull a dirt road out here. Oh, I've got anarchy on. I am going to... I'm just going to do that. I'm going to connect there. And we're going to do a little vegetable guarding here. What does that mean, Eric? Vegetable gardening. You know what I mean. I could do a couple in here. And I do... I want to do that. I want to take advantage. Not digging how I put this road in. Let's bring this out this way. And out here. We'll put one on this side. And I'm going to put one on this side. And I'll just take advantage of the space that we have. I really wish these would come up as square, but they never do. And I want to fix that one. Well, I mean, I just want to bring that down. And I'm purposely staying off the road right there a little bit. Um... Try again. Try again. <laughs> Hello? Oh, no, man. There's this bug in the damn game. This has happened to me more than once. I don't know why this happens. I don't have access to drag... The area tool, if you, I don't know what it is. It's some weird clicking combination. This has happened to me more than once. If you 
if you have hold of it and drag it, but it doesn't connect and you release it, you're, it just, you no longer have access to the tool, uh, which is weird. Not to the tool, to the zone. I don't know why that is, but it's happened many times to me. And I'll bring this one down as far as possible here. Okay, there we go. That worked out fine. Okay. Hopefully those will make a little bit of money. I could put more here, and I think I actually will. But I want to keep them off of the, the little road here. So let's do this. Let's divide this again. And we'll put two more in here. Yeah, we'll cover this whole area. So I'm see if I can learn my lesson and not release. I'll just do, I'll just grab this. And we'll put this one on this side. Let me anarchy here so I can get yeah, kind of nice and tight against this. Come all the way down. And then hopefully I don't mess this up. Yeah, I just want to drag that to there. And then we'll go to there. And I can move that in a little bit. Got some weird overlapping happening there. That's okay. Bring this here. I should be able to get that better than what I currently have it. Um, Yeah, let's drag this across the road, actually, right? Oh, I see. <laughs> got I've got one there. We need this as large as possible here. I, f I feel like. What am I doing with this? <laughs> Terrible zoning. Um, how do I compare? this oh my gosh <laughs> well you can't see it that's fine this is a little janky looking oh my gosh uh i need to fix that so because i used anarchy that's the problem there let me turn anarchy off here so i can separate these fences it's not that does not look good Yo. <laughs> Come on, man. Um maybe I just I'm okay with that. Maybe I do that off camera because I'll drive myself nuts. And what did I do here? <laughs> That's terrible. Overlapping item. I don't want both of them. Oh my God. This is the problem with anarchy is if you set something with anarchy, it's very difficult to get it readjusted without using anarchy. Um, but if I can get these together, that's really all I care about. Let's see if I can. Like, if I could just make them look like one fence, that's the best case scenario. Like that. This one. Okay, I'm okay with that. And I don't know why I wanted to stay off the road. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Doesn't really make any sense. We may as well move these 
take advantage of all of this zoning right there. I'll fix this fence, but let's fix this disgusting thing. Oh, so I drug over the road. That's not good. I've got to redo this one. I'll probably do this off camera. I'll fix this because <laughs> it's embarrassing how bad, how just incredibly bad I am at the game. Okay, this one can actually come on this side of the road too? Yes, it can. The question is, can I... Well, I. that's why the, the fence, that's what happened there. So I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it for right now. We're going to unpause. I'll probably fix that off camera so I don't look like such an idiot there. So some of this should start filling in here. And let's watch it do its thing. Just about time to call it. I love the layout. I did steal some of this design from somebody I was watching. I don't know if it was on the same map, but it just kind of worked out. But I like the the way this looks. Oh. I've got water and power problems over here. Let's remedy that. That's because they're not connected in here. Gotcha. Um, okay. Well. Yeah, I've got to use Anarchy. Didn't connect. Why does this happen? I, it's so frustrating. It's just, it's never clear when it, like, it snaps into place. That's what it feels like. It feels like it's snapping, but it just doesn't do it. <laughs> it's so frustrating. So I've got a kind of a long connection here. This is this tied in. This is actually not tied in. This is just something that comes across the map. So I would need to connect from here over to the farm. Question is, can I can I get it? Can I snap to it? That looks like I'm connected to it. And then we can connect here. Okay, now I just need power. So I'm connected there. I just need to... No, I'm forever going to do that. This is a large uh, pole. Uh, electricity. How do I do this? Got this. This is a massive power line going across there. I need to connect to my network, though, which is this is connected to my network. I've got power through these roads. All I need to do is connect this. Anarchy, please. I'll just try to keep it under this road here. Does, did I connect it? No. Why not? It's connected there. Like these roads have the power connection, so it comes up this way. It's connected. It's connected there. That doesn't look connected, does it? But it's telling me it is. Um... What's the problem here? Hmm. 
I'm only 1% used to like I'm, this is working. I just don't know why I don't have power over here. Electricity would automatically be routed down this road, which it is. There's the black connection is the power. I wish it was red or something, right? It comes off this way. And then from here, I've got the power, the power connection. It should, that should work. I don't understand why that's not working. Oh, please. Um, it doesn't snap. It doesn't want to snap to that. Come on, man. Oh, so it's such a troll. Why doesn't it snap to this? Is anarchy screwing me up here? Oh, I'm going to lose my mind, man. I'm going to lose my mind trying to figure this crap out. Do dirt roads not have power connections? Yeah, they do. They're black. They're, all of these are connected. I don't need a transformer station over here. Where does this actually go to this power connection? It's just, so that's just an outside connection, which I'm actually using. Well, I think it would have been better to come this way with it. That's all that is. That's just, I'm connected to it. This is connected. All of these people have power. I don't understand why this isn't working here. The water comes across that way. Okay, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete that whole thing there. Let's do this again. I have my small power line, which is what I want. I hate how that connection looks there. I should be able to connect right here. And it does. It snaps right onto it. I'm connected. Let me just say, screw the road connection. I just want to connect there. I did it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what's the heck happened there. Hopefully I've edited that disgustingness out. Okay. So we have no more demand for the residential stuff. I will have to get that mod back where I can change the zoning so that I can choose not to zone on a specific section of road. And what it does, it, it'll switch the zoning to a different road, which is kind of what I wanted in here. But I don't mind what's happening. They want some more commercial. I'm going to double time here. I don't want to triple time. I don't know why I don't want to triple time, but this is a good place for some more stores i think do the four by fours there got some medium density creeping up actually let's do triple time here we'll have to call the episode pretty soon i'm over an hour but i don't want to go too crazy trying to keep up with demands i think it throws the game out of whack not really quickly we got some people coming into town. Oh my gosh, look at this wonky road, my friend. Wouldn't be that unusual, but that's, you could like jump that track if you wanted to. Yeah, one thing I usually get hung up on is leveling the whole place before I start laying roads down, but 
I have elected not to do it. So if we wanted to, we could find some ploppable, some custom stuff. Um, and we might actually do that to just kind of give this a different type of feel. And I can also lock the buildings. If I don't want them to grow too large, we want to maintain like a small type of vibe. I don't like the way these all look the same though. At all. We'll leave them for right now. What do these look like? They're not too bad. Not really a fan of this these uh, these this row housing look, but we don't have much options or many options rather. All right, we have demands for everything. Let's do the low density, the different style down here. These have a kind of a cool little look to them. This doesn't say what density it is. It doesn't say if it's, I mean, I guess it's low density, but it's weird that it's here and not back here. You know, they just eat it up. Well, we'll just try to keep on top of it. And on this side, we'll also do some medium density back here. We'll do four with the medium density stuff. So all of the lights are in place. And I'm just going to leave them to see how it works out for us. Wow, I'm just I'm popping the meeting. There it goes. It's finally coming down. I was like, it's just not moving the demand there. And let's do, do three wide there. And on this side, well, we'll do the same. Yeah, I could have done a much better job with the zoning. We've got some space, but I mean, this gives an opportunity to run a path through here, which I do need to focus on. Okay, so we already have a need for death care because that first milestone you hit you unlock health care, death care, and garbage. And I'm going to wait as long as I can until I see a need for the thing to put it in. Uh, so small town like this, you would have, you would see a cemetery. It wouldn't be uncommon. And I feel like this is a perfect place for it. It's kind of easy access. It's not uncommon to see something like that when you're coming into town. So that'll take care of that. And let's go back into our economy. So for health and death care, I'm going to crank this down for right now. I need to, I just kind of need to do this. It affects the citizen's happiness quite a bit and other things in the game, but we're trying to get balanced out here so that I don't go bankrupt. I really want to try to avoid taking a loan if I can. So another thing I can do I want to look at, ooh, look at this. So vegetables, oh, they're making money. I like that. Vegetables are making money. So I'm going to crank this up to just 11%. The smallest increase can make a difference. All I'm trying to do is get positive here, and then we can balance all of this out and hopefully get balanced across the board as far as our citizen happiness, all of that. Right now, they're just unhappy about reliable healthcare coverage, and that's because they have none. <laughs> so I can understand. But we don't have any sick people, so. All right, I've got to get some industrial in, and as much as I don't want to do this, I'm going to put some industrial back here. It's going to be a temporary thing. And I'm going to use gravel roads back here. I don't want it too close to my people, obviously.
but we're gonna we're gonna throw some industrial back here. Overlapping item. That's that's what anarchy's for, I suppose. Yeah, like I said, this this won't be a permanent thing. Hopefully, we won't have a need for this, but for right now, we do have a need for it. And let's separate this actually even more. Whoops. Like that. Across these wonky looking zoning things we have here. So we'll put some industry back here. We need to get rid of that demand. I'll keep it as far away as I can. Until that need subsides a little bit back there. Nice, $50,000. Two development points and four expansion permits. Lovely, so we have three we can spend development points. Okay, that ate up the industrial demand. Oh, so I got to put a, we have uh, a need for a clinic. So what I want to choose here is the one that can be upgraded. Um, so I don't get stuck with these. It's a lot more, but the patient capacity is four times the patient capacity. And these can also be upgraded. So I want these things uh, down this area here where they have easy access out to the rest of the city or the town. That'll make them happy, happy-ish. I have no demand for um, waste right now, um, so I'm going to hold off on it for right now. I'm not looking forward to putting in a, a landfill in this beautiful area, but we will have to do it. But I have to call this an episode because we are an hour and 15 minutes in. So that will do it. Season 2, Episode 1. I'll see if I can stay on top of traffic see how it plays out such a beautiful map i like this little area we have here kind of a cool little design but that'll do it for this one thank you for hanging out with me for a little bit i do appreciate it you guys and gals take care i'll see you in the next episode of cities skylines 2 peace